Yeah, I know what to think. I did again. I said that I wasn't good with, you know, like a, I was going to make these videos at least 15 minutes long, but, you know, it's Greencast of Mag got the jump on me, okay? And now I don't even remember what I was saying. Hello, YouTube, and yeah, we're starting with this again. I really don't know why, um, I can't see keep track of the time on Screencast-O-Matic. I mean, the clock is right below the, um, recording screen. Yeah, I guess because of this crazy week I've had. Possibly, the only funny thing about the, um, well, actually, the only decent thing about the, um, headstones is that they sometimes have, like, little messages on there. <coughs> Sorry, I burped. Like, this one says, ceased to exist, in case you can't see it too well. Oh, well, you know, we got a new plant, or mushroom. Fume shroom shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. If you've played this game before, you know what this means. Yep, screen door zombies. These guys can take a beating like who knows what. Oh right, I keep I keep forgetting I'm not playing on my other um Plants vs Zombies setup. Now this is still well, actually, honestly, I don't really have a strategy for this. You just, you know, just set up your two rows of sun shrooms, put puff shrooms, and then slowly, I guess we'll call it upgrade to fume shrooms. I really wish I could get the background music on this thing, because... Uh, hang on. Instead of just having, you know, this awkward silence. I don't know, I may stick like a song in later videos. Yeah, I just had to do that. Oh boy. Okay, so this time, I'm only gonna go up to maybe 13 minutes maximum, okay? I won't try and go for, like, um... I won't try and go for, um, you know, for, like, um... The full 15 minutes, because that keeps cutting these episodes in half. And I don't blame you for thinking it's annoying, okay? I mean, like, a... You know. Yeah, I don't really have much to say. No, well, you know, I got enough for a fume shroom. Now, this is a fume shroom. Okay. Even though they don't really shoot fumes, they actually shoot more like bubbles at you nuts. Hang on. Now, fume shrooms and um, catapult plants are the only things that will actually damage a screen door zombie. Well, that and else too, a spike rock will also damage them. But the uh, with the, yeah, I mean, the screen door zombies, if you try and just take them down with, like, normal pea shooters, heck, it could be a repeater, a snow pea, it could be any of those, and yet, you know, you'd still be having trouble. And on some levels, if you're stuck like that, you could be in pretty deep trouble. You know, it's like you could actually end up lo losing.
Well, it's a good thing this level only has one flag. It makes it kind of easier for me. You know what? I'm gonna use a cherry bomb. Boom. Knock it off. Knock it off. Stop, stop eating my walnut. I don't even like walnuts. Well, you know, I mean like the actual plant itself, not walnuts in the game. Thank you. Ah, oh, good. Finally, we got this thing. Now this is a must for all, for pretty much all night levels, unless if it's like pool at night. Grave Buster. Planted a grave to remove the grave. Cutscene. Oh boy. Hey, wanna buy an extra seed slot? Yes. It'll cost you 750, but you'll be able to choose 7 seeds per level instead of 6. How's that sound? Yes. Alright, and hey, when you save up to 5,000, I'll sell you the 8 seed slot upgrade. Check you later. Now, the seed slots, they get more and more expensive as you, um, play. Like, I think if you want 10, if I remember correctly, you have to have, like, $80,000. Which is quite expensive. Okay, so, like, uh, what you want to do with the grave... Buster, try and get rid of the graves early on, unless of course, well, you know, like if you actually want more zombies to show up. But in that case, leave them alone. You know, don't use them. Once we get the um, almanac unlocked, I forget which level that is exactly, but um, but uh, it'll give you a, a better description of the grave buster. Of course, do a dramatic death scene. Now, there's actually a mini game. I think it's coming up. It's either that or um There's actually a um mini game coming up that we're gonna play soon. I'm not sure exactly when. And yes, I am keeping an eye on the time a little bit, but I don't think we'll be able to get it in this episode, so... So, you know, just bear with me. It's a pretty, pretty much what you gotta do, you gotta just, you know, just put Grave Buster on the grave. And it actually gets you coins, too, so that's kind of rewarding. Now, if there's a grave really close to your plants, I'd recommend getting rid of it. Because, um, I think there was this one mini game I played, um, it's Whack a Zombie. They were. One of these graves got too close to one of my lawnmowers, and I actually had to lose it. I mean, that thing gets. Those grave diggers, they, they're just annoying. Now, you wonder why I stuck a sun shroom there? I just need something to, you know, slow down this pole vault zombie. The only good thing about the graves is that they get you coins, that's it. I mean, the rest, everything else about a grave is just not, not helpful, so to say. Okay, so I'm up to nine minutes. I'm probably gonna only be able to do this level. Well, this level and the level I just finished before this one. I think that's it. Now, if I remember correctly... Here's a tip, okay? Um, when you're playing on Survival Night Hard... Always leave a small space for the grave to actually spawn, because um, if you don't, then you could end up actually um, losing a plant. If you don't believe me, try it out for yourself, because I mean, like, uh, I actually did that once. I had, I had literally the entire field filled with plants, and unfortunately, though, 
when you know the grave popped up, I think it was um somewhere in this area. And it actually took out one of my plants. And I was thinking, what's wrong with you, man? What, what the heck? I just... <sighs> yeah, okay, so like, I'm hitting the 10 minute mark. So like, uh... Ah, great, this thing's got two waves. Let's hope I can get through them quick enough, because... I want to actually end this thing without having to, you know, start another level or something like that. Okay, let's see. Puff shoes in this level are very, very useful. I mean, you can kind of use them to stall for time, I guess you'll call it. Like, say, for example, uh, if you have a zombie coming up and, like, uh, you need to give your plants a little more time to, um, to be able to properly kill it, then, you know, puff shrooms are the plants to go for. I'm sorry if this video's not really very fast-paced. Um, the night levels, they're kind of slow, but they're still pretty tough. Okay, I'm up to 11 and a... I mean, not 11 and a half. 11.30. Well, over 11.30. Yeah, I think I'll probably end it after I'm done with this um, level right here. Just so that way, you know... Just so that way, you know, like uh, the next video we do, you know, it'll actually be of a full level, not like part of a level. Sheesh, I've got so much sun, I don't know what to do with it. And uh, just to forewarn you, even if you have a um, pea shooter behind a torchwood, it's still gonna take it a while to actually to actually take down that screen door shield. So, like, in order for you to take down a screen door zombie fast enough, I'd recommend either using fume shrooms, at least two, possibly, you know, for like, so say, quickest results. You know, like, uh, uh. At least two fume shrooms in one row. Hey, well, you know, we got the suburban almanac. Oh, pfft, almanac. I can't speak at all today. Oh, hang on, my screen went black. Here we go. Keep track of all the plants and zombies you encounter. Okay, so see here right now, we can look at all the um, plants we've encountered, all the zombies we've encountered. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Uh, dang it. Hang on, I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to come back in a little while, guys. I'll see you next time. And this is actually a mini game we're coming up on, so 